Hey guys, and welcome to The Brick is Life. Today I wanted to show you the mini builds that came with the um, Lego Classic Creative Fun set. Uh, set number 11005. Yeah, they were actually pretty cute. Some of them were, some of them, uh, it's like whatever. So, yeah, here's three samples. But yeah, they um, have it listed in here as you know one brick for easy building and then two bricks for um, uh, medium building and three bricks for advanced building and then they had one um, online but I'll talk about that one in the end um, yeah so we'll start off with the first three and um, that would be the spin top is the first one. Um, it's pretty cool. I mean, I think I probably would have come up with something a little bit better, but I mean, I don't know. Maybe not. Who knows? Uh, but it actually, it works pretty well. Whoa. Okay, it's off thingy. Sorry. It's really, really... I wish it would stay in one place though for you guys. There we go. Or not. I don't know why it keeps coming. I think my table's slanted. There we go. <laughs> it works pretty good. It goes all over the place. Um, and it shows in the books that you could, like, exchange these out for different colors, or I guess you can put your own design. Um, but it is best if you keep it even with whatever you design to put on here. Um, because it's not exactly pointed, it kind of, or rounded, it kind of makes a weird, you know, pattern and goes all over the place. So, yeah. Um, the second build that they gave in the book was this, uh, flower. Now... I think Lego's slipping a little. I don't know. That's kind of sketchy to me. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. It's supposed to be a flower, but it looks like a flower that some kids already plucked off, like, half the petals or whatever. So, yeah. But, I mean, it's, it's cute, though, but still. <laughs> um, and the third build for the, uh, uh, early building is this uh, little jet ski, which actually isn't so bad considering the parts that they give you. So, yeah. Um, and they use these. Um, oh my goodness. Why don't I just do it the hard way? They give you these the little handle pieces, which actually is really cool. I never thought of using those for the handle pieces for, you know, just that usually they come with a handle, so I like it that it's covered like that and then sticking out. I don't know. I think it's cute. But, yeah. So this one's actually pretty okay. This this one's pretty decent. And then for the medium building, the first one they have you make is the um, biplane, which actually this one's one of my favorites. This one's really cute. I mean, of course, the propeller moves and the wheels roll. But, um, you know, but, um, I like this one. I think it's pretty cute. Um, they use those new pieces that I really, really like. And they don't have the, uh, studs on top. But I like them. They're, they're really cool. So, yeah. But it's a nice little biplane. It, it's really cute. The colors are nice, too. So, that, that one's one of my favorites. Um, and then they have you build this dog. I don't know. I'm kind of scared about it. It's a very strange dog. Um, I don't understand what he's sitting on. Um, unless that's part of his tail. But then that's an awful big tail. So, yeah. I don't know. I think I like it better without. For sure. I think it definitely looks better than this big thing that he's sitting on. It just it doesn't look right. So, yeah, I think it looks better without. <laughs> his face is cute, though, and you can move his ears, you know, so. But, yeah, it's cute. Like I said, I don't know what that's for, but that's in the build, so it is what it is. Um, and then the third one they have for the medium build is this uh, lion. It's a chunky chunky build so it's not like 
there's no defined real legs or anything. I mean, you can see them, but it's not, it's all like one piece. And it shows the mane and the little ears, and the teeth are kind of cute. Like the jaw. Yeah, I mean, this one's cute, and then a little tail. Yeah, so that's the third build for the medium. And then um, for the advanced building, they have you build this race car, which actually is, is pretty decent. This one's another one of my favorites. Um, yeah, this one I think is my third favorite. So, yeah. yeah. I like the build. It's actually pretty cool considering. And I like the way that they use these pieces. Those are pretty neat. I never thought to do that, to make them inward. I would, you would normally put them outward. But I like that because it gives it a really cool shape. So, yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool for what, I mean, for the bricks that you get in this box, I mean, that that's pretty decent for a race car. And it does roll pretty decent, of course, you know, so, yeah. So, yeah, this one's, like, one of my other favorites. Um, then they have you build this ice cream cone, and I'm totally not in love with it. I mean, I kind of get where they're going, but it just seems so broken up and in pieces. And I know that's a cherry and then like a chocolate stick or something and like sprinkles. Um, and I think it's supposed to look like it's swirled or something, but I don't know. It just doesn't look great. And the cone is very choppy, I guess you can say. I don't know. Um, yeah. But for, like I said, for the bricks they give you, it's not so bad. I mean, you're, you're limited to what you can do with what's in the box, so. But it's, it's okay. It's not one of my favorites, but it, it's okay. And then, this one I believe is my first favorite, and it is the last build for the um, advanced building, three bricks. Um, and it is a typewriter, and the paper moves back and forth, but you have to move it. But the keyboard, they put in these poles or whatever they're, I can't remember what they're called, but they're in there and it, it causes this to swivel a little bit. So like when you hit the buttons, it makes it look like it's actually typing. Now this part doesn't move, but if you just tilt it slightly and then shake it, it'll look like it's moving, which is kind of cool. And then you can kind of slide it back and then do it again. If you like put it at an angle, but if it's just sitting, it doesn't go anywhere. It just sits there. But it, it's still cool. This one's one of my favorites. I actually like this one a lot. So, yeah. Now, it did give you an option for more ideas online. Um, I don't think it should say more ideas because it only gives you one. So, it should say for, like, the house idea, go online. But if you type this in, it won't. you can't find that. I had to literally Google the um, set number. I did like Lego and then the number 11005. And then I put um, classic ideas instructions. So like if you put it in and ask for instructions, then it'll bring you up to the page where you can download um, all nine of these instructions. And then at the very bottom, it gives you the option to download one more. So that's the one I did, and um, that one's one of my favorites too. Um, so, yeah. And all these builds, even with this one, um, I didn't have to take anything apart to make it or anything. You know, I didn't need any extra pieces or whatever. So, yeah. But it's a cute little house. It's not very big, um, of course. You know, it's very narrow. <laughs> um, looks like there's logs outside, a little fence, a little patio, a little door, some windows, which actually open with the flowers sitting there, which is nice. There's a little window upstairs. I like the color combination. It's really nice. Um, and then inside, it's just this little, just this little house. Nothing very big, but I did use some of the pieces, um, and it's not quite to Lego scale, but I made like furniture and stuff to go inside and you guys can too if you want so I made like this little couch or lounge chair couch 
all out of the different blues so I thought that would be cute and I can stick that right there and then I also made this little simple table and just put it at the end of the chair and then I also made like a little mini fireplace so I made the fire with the red and yellow and then I just put that on top to make it look like a little fireplace now instead of just a you know piece of gray that it's sitting on and for upstairs I just made a simple little pallet bed nothing nothing fancy you know there, there wasn't a lot of room so you know I thought that would work you know um yeah if we need to let me see about grabbing a minifig oh we'll grab this dude up here here we go yeah there's there's my minifig and some other stuff some brickheads um yeah so see he fits in the chair and I doubt he'll fit in the bed proper, but <laughs> it is. There's not enough room in here. So hold on, let me see something. I do have the little boy. So maybe this could be like a little clubhouse or something. It doesn't have to quite, you know, be exactly like a real big house. It could maybe be a playhouse or something. I don't know. But it's cute. Let me close that. So, yeah. So like I said, I made my own little, you know, extra things to put in it and there was um a whole bunch left so yeah there's still way more in here eyeballs there's another set of wheels all these extra bricks everything so there's still so much more to play with um but i couldn't find any more ideas online for for any of these so yeah but my favorites for sure are these four the house the typewriter the biplane and the car so it's kind of a tie between these two um, I love houses and stuff but I just love the practicality or you know I don't know if it's practical but like just the idea of the typewriter it's just really cute and then I really like the shape of the biplane it just it just came out really nice and then the race car is like fourth so like or I guess third whatever but like um, if I had to pick, it'd be, I guess, this would be one, two, three, and four for my favorites. And then, of course, if I had to, maybe this one would be number five. But then, you know, we have all the other little whatnots to, uh, put in here. So, yeah, um, as I said, these were fun little builds, you know, if that would just stay where it's supposed to stay. There we go. Um, but it was fun building all this stuff, you know. And it was really cute to see what they could come up with with just a box of bricks that that's all you could choose from. So, yeah. Well, um, I hope you guys liked this video. And I hope to see you guys in future videos. So, yeah. Keep on bricking. And bye.